If you want to avoid dropping out of the export business, then you need to get a copy of it. If you are looking for how to get a partner abroad to support your export business, then you need to get a copy of this. If you are looking for export market with high demand for your product, then you need to get a copy of this. If you want to know the challenges of doing business abroad and how to avoid them, then you will love this. If you are looking for a template to follow to minimize your error rate in export business, then you will love this. If you are looking for how to know your customers, you call them the CW of customers in the export market, how to know your customers or consumers in the export market, then you will love this. If you are looking for how to boost your capacity to meet export market demand, then you need to get a copy of it. If you are looking for how to mitigate payment risk, then you need to get a copy of this book. That's payment risk in export business. Then you get a copy of this book. If you want to know why business owners, the promoters, fail in export business, then you need to get a copy of this book. If you want your product to be found in big stores like Tesco, like Tilbury, like Walmart, in markets around the world, then you will love this book. What are you still waiting for? Grab your copy now. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you told your tips from your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? Do you deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080-912-44449. Our 200 FX program of the Central Bank of Nigeria has made it very difficult for many bankers to be able to meet the target because they now need to focus on getting in more export customers for the banks. To be able to meet this target, you need to build the capacity to solve export customers' problems. We're happy to inform you that we have a solution for you. It is our bouquet of online certificate classes for trade professionals from PT Impex Trade Academy. These courses are affordable, comprehensive, insightful and engaging with a flexible payment plan. You can register for one month access with 50,000 Naira, two months access with 100,000 Naira, and lifetime access with 150,000 Naira. To see the list of courses and register today, visit the website below. Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job for no performance? You desire a change for the better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve income export trade customers problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. All right, good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining today. I'm taking your journey again today to northern part of Nigeria. And my bus stop today is in Bauchi State. 
My bus stop today is in Bauchi State. But before we start, let me remind you of the book Beauty Go Global, a reliable companion for successful export business. This book explains basically why export businesses fail and what individuals need to do to be able to prevent failure. <laughs> what individuals need to do to be able to prevent um, to be able to prevent challenges or reduce challenges or losses in export business. You can also get the video to this program on our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Voice of African Trade. Search for Voice of African Trade. You get to see all the previous video. We've done several videos on AFCFTA. We've gone around African countries from uh, Algeria down to uh, Zambia, sorry, Zimbabwe. We've done quite a number of work on exportable products on the African continent. That's product that African countries import. I mean, we've done so much within this space. You will do well to join us, uh, to view those videos, to see those videos rather, to be able to learn. Practically, most of the questions you want to ask about almost all the countries in Africa have been answered and they are right there on Voice of African Trade. You're also looking at, oh, what does this country buy? How did they buy? At what point did they buy? You will get all those information on the Voice of African Trade. So try as much as possible to visit Voice of African Trade. And you will get to see those videos. Remember to subscribe. Remember to subscribe, like the video, share with your friend, drop your comment, and more importantly, remember to click on the notification bell so you know when we are online again to give you another episode. You can also visit our Telegram channel. If you visit this Telegram, so, so sorry for the breaking transmission. I'm having an issue with my network here. So sorry about that. All right, like I was saying, um, like I was saying about the YouTube channel, and then I mentioned the Telegram channel. The fact that you can visit that Telegram channel, that Telegram channel is called African Export Business Platform. If you search for African Export Business Platform on Telegram, you get to see that channel and you can always get the link. If you join the channel, you will always get the link whenever we are on. Remember today, we are going to be discussing Bauchi State. We have done Abia. We have been to Adamawa State. We have been to Akwa Ibom State. We've been to Anambra State. And that was last week. This week, I'll be taking on a journey to another very interesting state in Nigeria. Some of the states that depend heavily on federal allocation for survival, but which is capable of actually generating its own income. I've been able to create value for the people of the state. And one of the conversations we intend to initiate via this program to basically help the, those that will be seeing the video subsequent and those that are attending to ask the governor or intending governor important question about how do you intend to generate income? How do you intend to create employment? What will you be doing exactly? And now that we know most of the candidates, at least the major candidates, maybe it's time to start asking for those questions. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we start to discuss the detail of today's session about Bauchi State. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you told your tips for your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get money to go global. 
They have no and there is a science behind making the product of the service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner. To make more money, get a copy of the book titled Gifts to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted techniques for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call. 080-912-44449. All right. So we have preamble as usual, basically talking about why Bauchi State need to export. The peculiarity of the state in terms of the local government, the product they have and the like, the opportunities in the state, then the potential. So the profile, there we're talking about debt profile, the unemployment rate, and what the state is not doing right. Then the potential, talking about the product that are exporting from Bauchi State, and then the purchasers, those products that Chelsea can export, who are those buying, and what is the volume of the market, or what's the volume of the market size of the demand of these products from around the world. Then I propose that every week we have a proposal to the governor or to the people of the state on how they can generate income with export and also create jobs through export. I mean the state generating income directly from export and also creating job in the process. Then we round up with the profit. What? Is the benefit of exporting to the state. Particularly, we use one product and do analysis of the product based on the data available from the agronomist. And it's how they've done on the economic impact of some of these products in terms of farming, in terms of profitability, cost, and then we add the export part to it. So, whatever the figure we believe is a possibility for the state in terms of income generation driven by export. So we'll move on to Bauchi State now. Bauchi State can avoid depending on federal allocation through export. This state is very much capable of boosting the GDP through export. Export is also able to create employment for SME. Through export, but they can decrease dependence on domestic market through export. But can earn proceeds and grow revenue for the state through export. Farming and rural can become more lucrative in Bauchi State. Through export, farming, sorry, Bauchi can gain global relevance and market share. Through export, it can become home of creativity and innovation. Through export, it can, it can become an industrialized state because export is an industrialization catalyst. Through export, it can create jobs for youth in the state. Through export, it can know the value of the state's competitive advantage through export. It can lead for other states to follow. Through export, it can make this state to be independent of other government. Through export, its exporter can enjoy numerous incentives from the government. Export creates opportunity for about to maximize its indigenous abroad. Export can help in poverty and eradication to quit the league of state depending on waste nothing like oil, provide the economy of the state. Slow down rural urban migration, enjoy tax free opportunity, utilization of idle capacity of the company in the state. It can make the state become very viable. Some states in Nigeria are said to be non viable. It can make the state become very viable. It can be a recreational tool for the state. Explain, can the state to explain the potential product for export, yearn for more improvement because of competition and zero in on their area of strength. So what do you see about your state? What do you see about your state today? 
Kibbutz unemployment in Bauchi State. And I'll show you the data of unemployment shortly. There's poverty in Bauchi State. There's frustration in Bauchi State. But you know what? There's also opportunity for farming in Bauchi State. Opportunity for mining in Bauchi State. And as a matter of fact, opportunity for the population. And as a matter of fact, and as a matter of fact, it's opportunity for the population. Serious opportunity for the population. Opportunity in population, and of course, mining and agri. This state have what it takes, but unfortunately, the state is depending heavily, as usual, heavily, as usual, on federal allocation. You know, this state is one of the states that has a very low IGR compared to what is getting from Abuja. This one is say you can say it's not viable because of the heavy dependence on handout from Abuja. What are the peculiarities of this state? Bauchi State was created in 1976 from the former Northern state by General Muritala Mohammed. The originally involved Gombe State, which became a distinct state in 1996. Located in the Northeast region, Bauchi covered 4,837 square kilometers. The entire west and northern part of the state are generally mountainous and rocky. This is a result of closeness of the state to play two, just play two. And of course, the Cameroon Mountain. Bauchi is one of the northern states of Nigeria that span two distinct vegetative zones. It's between Sudan and Sahel Savannah. It has 55 tribal groups. Bauchi is derived from Bauchi Town. Bauchi Town is named after Bauche, who was a brave hunter during his time and was the first settler in Bauchi before the arrival of Malam Yakubu the fourth Bauchi ruler. Bauchi, according to early house translator means, no animal ever escaped the trap and arrow of a hunter, Bauchi, and for which Bauchi was, was <laughs> name was derived. <laughs> this state is nicknamed Pearl of Tourism. Pearl of Tourism. Total land area is 49, Thousand square kilometer capital is Bauchi. That's twenty local government population is about seven million people, with male being three point five and female being three point four. Vegetation is Sudan and Sahel savanna. Look at the product in Bauchi State: millet, sorghum, maize, rice, cotton, hibiscus, gum arabic, garlic, soya beans, sesame seed, pepper, yam, beans, tomato. <laughs> Sago, granite, one state, one state. And you see the revenue of that state very soon. One state, though, and these are all exportable products with humongous income opportunity for the state. No, the governor will look elsewhere, looking for handout. Solid minerals, barite, gold, tin, columbite, wolfram, coal, limestone, lignite. Let's see, clay, Gibson, iron. The state is richly blessed with opportunity in agribusiness, healthcare, tourism, energy, and mining. Yes, the name is very interesting. <laughs> Let's look more into the state. Bauchi State. It has 4.2 million hectares of arable land. 
high deposit of solid minerals, tourism potential, strategic location with a gateway border to seven states. What? <laughs> seven states. I remember then when I was in Jigawa, you can accept Bauchi from Jigawa. If when I was in Joss, you can accept Bauchi from Joss. Even in Kano. <laughs> Bauchi State. Unfortunately, out of the working population of this state, unemployment rate is 34%, underemployment is 30%. Please note something. When they say underemployment, what they mean is that someone working for less than eight hours does not mean he's paid the right way, Joe. Even if he's collecting 5,000 or 10,000 or 10,000 a month, and he has three wives and children. They see it as underemployed. So underemployed plus unemployed, <laughs> you can do the math. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, we'll go to the peculiarities of this state. After 200 FX program of the Central Bank of Nigeria has made it very difficult for many bankers to be able to meet the target because they now need to focus on getting in more export customers for the banks. To be able to meet this target, you need to build the capacity to solve export customers' problems. We're happy to inform you that we have a solution for you. It is a bouquet of online certificate classes for trade professionals from the PNC Impex Trade Academy. These courses are affordable, comprehensive, insightful, and engaging with a flexible payment plan. You can register for one month access with 50,000 Naira, two month access with 100,000 Naira, and lifetime access with 150,000 Naira. To see the list of courses and register today, this is the website below. Oh. All right, profile. Let's look at the IGR of this state. The IGR of this state is 12.5%. 12.5% of the total income. 12.5% of the total income. Federal allocation, 62.1. The remaining, of course, will be debt. Debt profile, domestic, over 100 billion. Foreign debt is 134 million dollars. Remember, a million dollars is about 600 million naira. So you can do the math. So you can do the math. That's almost 70 or 80 million there. So almost 200, sorry, almost 70 or 80 billion there. So almost 200 billion debt for this state alone. For this state alone. Can, can you see the structure of this state? <coughs> Idea <coughs> is 12.5%. Do you know what this means? The state is practically powerless, helpless, without federal allocation. Federal allocation is 62.1. The remaining gap is filled by debt. That is Bauchi state for you. And that is the picture of many states in this country. You know, each time I look at this thing, and I just ask myself, when someone says everything rise and fall with leadership, I agree 110%. Because if the leadership cannot see the opportunity to generate income from the product in the state, because how do you have a state with these huge resources and is incurring this level of debt for unborn generation? It's lack of capacity. 
to unnest the potential of the people, mineral resources, and the cultural potential of the state. Basically, that's the issue. And this cut across many states in Nigeria. Look at what budget had to say about this state. According to budget report of Nigerian state, the pearl of tourism renowned with its beautiful vegetable zone and landscape in March 27th in 2021. The state cannot cover its operating expenses. Its operating expenses is 63.64 billion, but its IGR is so small. A combination of its operating expenses of 3.64 billion and loan repayment obligation of 8 billion add up to about 7.1. Wipe out 85% of its total revenue of 84 leaving very limited fiscal space for the state to invest in fiscal infrastructure. See the heavy recurrent expenditure of the state. You know, it's so amazing. A state is not making money. It still have heavy recurrent expenditure. You know, I feel the governor feel, look, what's my business? She's been at four years, I go spend now. When I finish, the person where they come, he go carry the, the body. Because the rate of, I'm just imagining this is what their own company, and they're going to manage it for another five, 10 years, 15 years of their lifetime, and they're going to incur this kind of debt, they just incur debt on this. You know, it's one thing when you incur debt on assets that produce enough income to pay back the loan. But when you incur debt on recurrent expenditure, borrow money to share. He said Greece capital spending by 55.11% from 25.41 billion in 2019 to 39.41 billion in 2020. This is second largest capital industry in the Northeast. The state capital industry per capita stands at 5,263, which is less than the average capital industry of 8,000 for all the states in Nigeria. Nigeria grew by 6 to 6.89 year on year from 11 to 12.5 when Lagos is doing hundreds of billions. <laughs> this growth was slower than. 20.7% year on year growth. The state will achieve growing its IGR from 9.69 in 2018 to 11.7 in 2019. Even though Bauchi IGR is larger than other states in the Northeast, Saturday allocation contributed about 70% of the state's $84 billion revenue, making the state disproportionately disproportionately, disproportionately dependent on federal allocation. So someone will tell me now, the Bauchi state, one of the states that is not viable in Nigeria. Of course, I would totally disagree with that. They just have a visionless leader who are not thinking and only there. You know, this is why people will kill themselves to get political appointment in Nigeria. Because you really are not going to do any work. I always say that, look, how do you expect a governor that know if he sleeps from January 1 to January 31st, he will still be able to pay salary? If he does nothing, how do you, there's no incentive to work. Because there's all this money to share, either you work or not. What a country. Of course, this explains the reason why we are having the issue we are having in this country. This explains the reason why, sincerely. Because how do you explain this now? That you can sit down, do nothing, and you can pay salary. So what's the incentive to work? You will do everything possible to get there so you can recoup the money you pay delegate. <laughs> to get the position. <laughs> So you can recoup the money. <laughs> oh my God. The money you pay delegates to get into that position. Pair of tourism should start looking at ways to address its debt profile that keeps shooting up by, by the passing year. So year on year, according to budget, this debt 
as the accumulating debt. And of course, you know it's not sustainable because these debt are not used for developmental purpose. They are used to pay salaries. They are used for security goods. They are used for things that uh, you cannot locate. You can't find <laughs> recurrent expenditure. Very, very high. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll come and talk about the potential and of course the purchasers of the product that Bauchi has to offer the world. Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job without performance? You desire a change for the better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to serve import export trade customers problem and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Potential. Agriculture dominates the economy of Bauchi State, millet, sorghum, corn, yam, rice, cassava, tomato, and vegetable are produced in the state. Bauchi is one of the country's main cotton producing state. Coffee and peanut are the other cash crop that this state produced. Cattle, goat, sheep are raised in the state. From the mid-1970s, irrigation scheme have greatly increased production. Olivia tin and Columbine mining provide minerals for export, casterite, coal, limestone, iron ore, antimony, marble are abundant mineral in the state. Cutting, weaving, and dyeing, tanning, blacksmithing, a traditional activity. The state industry include meat product, meat processing and canning company, peanut processing, vegetable oil milling and cutting ginning. There is also an assembly plant for commercial vehicles and truck and a cement factory. Bauchi State is an agricultural state. It has vast fertile oil, which is another advantage to our Greek. Like I said earlier, maize, rice, sorghum, irrigation farming also practiced. Let's go over the main crop again. Millet, sorghum, rice, cotton, sugar, so, sorry, sugar cane, ginger, hibiscus, Gum Arabic, garlic, soya beans. Sesame seed, pepe. <laughs> Sesame seed, pepe. Yam beans, tomato, Sorghum, ginger, granite. Solid minerals include kaolin, trona, gypsum, cassandrite, mica, clay, tantalite, galena, that's lead ore, iron ore, gemstone, ferrite, silica sand, barite, columbite, zinc, lead, muscovite, quartz, tin, glass sand. Monazite, feldspar, graphite, wolfram, coal, agate, rutile, tungsten, copper, tark, illuminate, and zircon sand. Now, who are those that purchase this product? And what is the volume they are buying, both in the world and also 
in Africa. Rice. Rice. 27, 24.7 billion. <laughs> they are lost so much potential in Bauchi. It's amazing. It's amazing. 24.7 billion of rice from United States to Germany to, to France to United Kingdom to Iraq to China to Saudi Arabia to Philippines. How about in Africa alone? A third of that is being consumed. Bene leading. Of course, yeah, and I know that Bene is not the one consuming that rice. Those rice, you see those rice product? They escape into Nigeria. Nigeria is not an importer. It's not supposed to be an importer. <laughs> but we have a proxy importer. We import by proxy through Benin Republic. How can Benin, smaller than Lagos, the whole of Benin, smaller than Lagos, be importing 12.6% of the total rice consumed in Africa? Of course, you know that Benin alone cannot be importing 3% of rice in the world as 12% of rice in Africa. It's because those rice are escaping into Nigeria. Sagam, six point, sorry, $866 million. China, Japan, Mexico, Kenya, Spain, Sudan, Somalia, Italy, Mexico, are major importers. In Africa, the market is just about $169 million. And who are those doing those imports? Kenya, Sudan, Somalia, South Africa, Djibouti, Uganda, Ethiopia, Nigeria, Rwanda. Now, Nigeria produces sorghum and we import sorghum because it's not enough. Look at this one. You know, this product we are going to now, the next one, that product alone, Bauchi still can survive on it alone, just one product. That product is called cotton. If Bauchi can take just Ten percent of this market. Sorry, one ten percent of this market will be about five billion dollars. One percent of this market will be about five hundred million dollars. That's zero point five billion. That is more than enough for Bauchi State. Because 0 0.5 billion, that's 300 billion naira. That's more, more than enough for Bauchi State in a year. This state is exporting, it's not exporting this product, cotton, but the market size of cotton is amazing. 10, about 10% about of the import of cotton in the world is imported by African countries with Egypt and Nigeria leading the way. Who are the major buyers of imported cotton? China, Bangladesh, Vietnam, Turkey, Indonesia, Pakistan, India, Hong Kong, United States, Mexico, Honduras, Colombia and Peru. Italy, Germany, Russia, Portuguese, France, Spain. In Africa, Egypt, Morocco, Tunisia, Nigeria, Gambia, Mali, Benin, South Africa, Mauritius, Kenya, and about 10% of the world consumption, $5.1 billion. Another very interesting product is soya beans, $55.2 billion. <laughs> In Africa alone, 1.73 billion. China is taking up almost 60%. Almost 
almost 60%. You know what's happening? Eh? Currently, there is a, I mean, there's war in Ukraine and Russia, and the wheat market is affected. One country took advantage of that. That country has entered the market now and might remain in that market for a very long time because they have come to rescue the world at a time when Ukraine cannot ship and even Russia's shipment is being affected by sanction. China alone is consuming 58.2%, almost 60% of world consumption is taken over by China. And they buy a lot of this from America and from other South American countries. Japan, Thailand, Netherlands, Russia, Italy, Iran, Mexico, Argentina, Egypt are the major buyers. In Africa, Egypt, 83%. A lot is happening in this sector in Egypt. Then Tunisia, Algeria, Nigeria. Before we move on, let's look at Sesame Seed. This state can take advantage of this market, $3.45 billion. China leading the way in demand, followed by Japan, Turkey, India, South Korea, Israel, Saudi Arabia, Jordan. In Europe, France, Germany, Greece, United Kingdom, Russia, Poland, Italy, Spain. The United States and Mexico. In Africa, Egypt, Tunisia, Morocco, Togo, Ghana, Algeria, South Africa, an importer of sesame seed. We'll go on a short break. Again. When we come back, then I will discuss the proposal to Bauchi State Government. Our 200 FX program of the Central Bank of Nigeria has made it very difficult for many bankers to be able to meet the target because they now need to focus on getting in more export customers for the banks. To be able to meet this target, you need to build a capacity to solve export customers' problems. We're happy to inform you that we have a solution for you. It is a bouquet of online certificate classes for trade professionals from the PNC Impex Trade Academy. These classes are affordable, comprehensive, insightful, and engaging with a flexible payment plan. You can register for one month access with 50,000 Naira, two month access with 100,000 Naira, and lifetime access with 150,000 Naira. To see the list of courses and register today, visit the website below. All right. Out Proposal. So my proposal is that number one, any solution we are going to use to grow up to increase income, and someone of the state must carry a semi along to create job. We shall avoid a situation in which a governor in the South South built many factories that most likely will become remorable when it's out of government, when it's no more the government. Because the one is produces or deep, remain moribund, even while he is there as the new governor of the state. It's a big challenge for the Nigerian state when we are thinking of um, setting up a processing plant, I think the model we use is not inclusive or does not allow for inclusive growth. And it increases the chance of um, that factory not being put to use after the governor is gone. So in Nigeria, for example, 
you have a situation in which the same SME or SME one and SME two do the production of their drink, harvest it, transport it, take it to its warehouse, do the primary processing and storage, then the secondary processing and packaging, do the marketing and sales, logistics export and distribution. You and I know this is a very unsustainable approach. This approach is going to kill the SME. It's going to make it inefficient, value option operator, low processing capacity and output, of course it's SME, few job creations, low quality and package, high cost of production, because you cannot enjoy economy of scale, non competitive product in the export market. This is what we currently see in our country. Look at my proposition. I feel state government should partner with private entity to set up a processing plant in their state and that processing plant we process one of the very uh, important product where they have an advantage. For SME one, do the farming, harvesting and transport to SME two. SME two, buy from SME one and give it to a large processing facility, which is a share facility that every SME can bring the same product to come and process package in their own brand. So SME one do the production, harvesting, and transport. This large, big factory managed for profit. So they manage for, not for profit, but get paid for sustainability to pay salary and, and, and service the factory because it's largely government money. Primary processing and storage, and then secondary processing. Then SME2 can come and pick up its product after one or two weeks, ready to be sold or to go into the export market. SME2 have time to do its marketing and sales, logistics, export, and distribution in the export market. Now, this creates efficient value chain operator, high quality pack, uh, capacity, high processing capacity. And I help with good quality and packaging, low cost of production, competitive product because of the economy of scale, competitive product in the export market, increased job creation because the SME have more to do, big business for them because of the demand. Decrease inequality. And of course, when there's decrease inequality and increase job creation, there will be decrease insecurity. And the insecurity in the country is growing now. It's already in the Southwest. In order to support exporter in your state, Bauchi state, to export to Europe and America, what they need to do? What do they need to do? Partner representative in the export market, set up a warehouse for pickup of wholesaler, by wholesaler and retailer at destination. These are what state government can do for the SME in the export market. Set up an entity or agent or display at destination, partner with independent agent or display at destination, organize and sponsor their manufacturers for exhibition in the export market. Before I close today, how can Bausch they profit from sesame seed? Look at my recommendation. Bauchi State has a landmass of 1.7 million hectares, arable land. If Bauchi used 30% to cultivate sesame seed, agronomists told us that sesame seed yield per hectare is about 1.5 metric tons. That means it can yield 792,000 metric tons of sesame seed. 
cost of farming is 60,000 per hectare to pay farmers with 30% of profit, 61.7 billion. If this sesame seed currently at over $1,000 per metric ton is sold, it can generate $891 million for the state. At estate grades of 5,415 official estate grade, the state can get $353 billion. The budget of this state this year is 195. The IGR in 2020 is 12.05 billion. This state can use Sesame Seed alone to fund this budget. The cost of exports is about 50,000 per metric ton, plus the cost of farming, 39 plus 67, that's about one and one billion. Subtract that from three, five, three billion. There is 251 billion available for the state government. The state government does not need to go and look for this money. Give a guarantee to your farmers to produce and you export. And when you get paid, you pay your farmer with their profit. Look at my recommendation on how this will work. The state government can partner with an SPV. Oh, Mufta, thank you very much. I love that. Please, I will appreciate if you can let me know the cost of farming. We got this from some agronomist report. So please, I will appreciate if I can get the cost of farming. Thank you very much. State partner with SPV in agri ratio. State provide fund while SPV provide expertise. SPV form farmers into cooperative across the state. SPV issue purchase order to farmer back by bank guarantee. SPV provide training, input, and support farmers. SPV provide collection center for harvest. SPV clean and process the product for export. Source for buyers, do documentation. Present document to the buyer for payment abroad. SPV pay farmer and share balance to the state. And the state can use is money for development. The impact of the suggested model for state government goes beyond generation of export re and revenue. It has a humongous impact on employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. This, in my opinion, is a more effective and efficient and enduring model for diversifying the economy of the, any state in Nigeria. This model can also be replicated by federal government at federal level, especially in the export of solid mineral. We're going to show break when we come back, we we'll round off. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn a dollar and euros of pounds? Have you told your tech for your business to the world? Is it open for daunting tax? Do you deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled to go global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 All right, so we have done Abia, Adamawa, Akwa Ibom, and Ambra Bauchi. We'll be going to Bayelsa next week. <laughs> and then Benue up a week. I'm eager to go to Benue. And a very significant state as far as Greek is concerned. They even nicknamed themselves Food Basket of the Nation. Have you gotten a copy of the, board, the book Built to Go Global? The book basically tells you why export businesses fail and what businesses need to do to reduce the risk of failure. It has 15 case studies and also gives you access to tools that will help you take your business to the export market in a successful and sustainable manner. 
Remember, we have a YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, drop your comment. And click on the notification bell. Remember, this video will be uploaded tomorrow on this channel. And you can always have access to it afterwards. We have a Telegram channel that might be of interest to you. But it's called um, African Export Business Platform. If you join it, you can always have access to this link every week as we explore the market in Africa under AFCFTA. After 200 FX program of the Central Bank of Nigeria has made it very difficult for many bankers to be able to meet the target because they now need to focus on getting in more export customers for the banks. To be able to meet this target, you need to build a capacity to solve export customers problems. We are happy to inform you that we have a solution for you. It is a bouquet of online certificate courses for trade professionals from PC Impact Trade Academy. These courses are affordable, comprehensive, insightful, and engaging with a flexible payment plan. You can register for one month access with 50,000 Naira, two month access with 100,000 Naira, and lifetime access with 150. To see the list of courses and register today, visit the website below. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn a dollar and euros of pounds? Have you chosen to take your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? Do you deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global? Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call. 080-912-44449 Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you at the verge of losing your job with no performance? You desire a change for the better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve income export trade customers' problem and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. If you want to build a global brand, then you love this book. <laughs> if you want to generate foreign exchange, maybe as an importer or as an exporter, because the number of importers and exporters are having a big challenge right now, particularly in Africa, in Nigeria in particular. If you want to generate foreign exchange to fund your import business, then you love this book. If you are looking for a checklist to validate your readiness for export business, then you love this book. If you are looking for how to effectively price your product in a competitive manner, then you love this book. If you want to know the area of capacity building that your business needs to be able to do export business successfully, then you love this book. If you want to know the signs and symptoms of a business that is not export ready, then you need to get a copy of this book. If you want to enjoy the government incentive as far as export business is concerned, then you need to get this book. If you want to gain market share in market abroad for your product, then you will love this book. If you want to know the benefit of selling your product abroad, then you will love this book. If you are thinking 
of exporting after retirement, then you need to get a copy of this book. If you want to learn why some businesses fail in export business, then you need to get a copy of this book. If you want to know the reason for high mortality rate in the export business, particularly in developing countries, then you need to get a copy of this book. What are you still waiting for? Grab your copy now. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. See you next week and have a wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.